Hello and welcome to Digital Science Saturday Magnificent Monarchs. My name is Jacqueline and I work for the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a butterfly chrysalis. Now a chrysalis is very similar to that of a cocoon. However, cocoons are made by moths and chrysalis are made by butterflies. Are you ready to get started? So for, all, for this craft, all you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll, a clothespin, and if you don't have a clothespin, you can use pipe cleaners, a coffee filter, or just some tissue paper, and then paints will be good for this craft, but you can actually do it with markers if you don't have any paint. Now, before we get started, how does a monarch become a monarch? Well, it all starts with an adult female monarch flying around looking for the perfect place to lay her eggs. And the perfect place to lay her eggs is on a California milkweed plant. She will fly around looking for a leaf and she will lay her eggs on the underside of the milkweed leaves and then fly away, leaving behind a clear to white droplet shaped egg. And now these eggs will take about four to five days before they hatch. If you want to make a monarch egg on a leaf, all you need to do is cut out a leaf shape on construction paper or cardboard and paint it green and put just a tiny little white dot towards the base of the leaf. And there you go, we have monarch eggs. From here, the eggs will hatch into a small caterpillar. And I have a caterpillar made out of black and orange pipe cleaners, but monarch caterpillars are actually white with black and yellow stripes. So let's go ahead and make our monarch caterpillar. For this, all you're going to need is your paper clip, yellow marker, black and green markers. And on one side of your paper clip, we're going to go ahead and make our black and white and yellow stripes. Now that my caterpillar is striped, I'm going to cut my pipe cleaner so that I can make some small antennae. And just like that, I have a monarch caterpillar who's ready to make their very own chrysalis. Now you're gonna need your toilet paper roll and some green paint or your gray markers. Now take your time and paint your toilet paper roll green. Wow, look at that. We have our chrysalis is all ready to go and our caterpillar is almost ready to crawl inside and become a beautiful butterfly. So for the next step you're going to need your coffee filter and some markers and go ahead and decorate your coffee filter with your markers any colors you like. Okay, now that my coffee filter is colored, we are ready to add it to our clothespin and turn it into a butterfly. Now, just a little tip, butterflies are symmetrical, meaning on one side, they have the same on the other side. So if you look here, if I fold my butterfly, my wings in half, they're about the same pattern on each side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our coffee filter and we're gonna fold it back and forth like so, so that it's kind of like a little accordion. Just like this, we're gonna take our clothespin and we're going to put our wings in like this 
and we're gonna spread it out. So here we have our monarch caterpillar who's ready to go and make their very own chrysalis. So our caterpillar is going to crawl and make itself into a chrysalis where it is going to hang from its milkweed plant for about 10 to 14 days and after that time it will go through metamorphosis as it transforms into a beautiful butterfly and usually the monarchs and most butterflies that go through this can't fly right away they usually have to hang out by their chrysalis and on that branch while their wings dry out before they're ready to fly. Thank you so much for joining me on Digital Science Saturday, Magnificent Monarchs. I hope that you learned a little bit more about the monarch life cycle and had fun making this craft. But before you go, let's just do a quick little recap. First, we have our cute, tiny little monarch eggs on the underside of a California milkweed leaf where they hang out for about four to five days before they hatch into an adorable black and white and yellow monarch caterpillar. And the caterpillar will eat and eat and eat until it's ready to build its very own chrysalis. You got it. A chrysalis and it will hang upside down on a branch while it builds this chrysalis for 10 to 14 days and go through a process called metamorphosis and emerge a beautiful monarch butterfly. If you want to learn more about monarchs and their life cycle, check out Bug Out with Bree's video about the monarch life cycle. If you want to learn more about the differences between butterflies and moths, you can also check out Bug Out with Bree's video all about moths. The links for those will be in the caption below. Thank you and I hope you have an amazing Science Saturday!